So if you want to know why this video with ultra settings has more FPS than this video with low settings has less FPS, then stay tuned. I'm Starbucks, normally a German YouTuber and welcome on my English channel. Here we are approaching Heathrow, so London Heathrow, um, a big add-on airport with many scenery buildings outside a big city with many buildings of course. And normally we are flying from little airports to other little airports and we have no problems with our graphics. But if we depart or approach a big airport with big scenery details, we often get stuttering and low FPS and yeah, we, we begin to change our graphic settings. We are watching several videos on YouTube and we begin to change things which we don't understand. So I want to really know why this happens and what I figured out that will impress you. So here I see my normal graphic settings. We are approaching um, London Heathrow and I made this with a replay tool um, with a weather, weather configuration of scattered clouds so that we are able to get the same result every time. So we have same scenery, same weather and we are flying the same way all the time. So these are my normal graphic settings and um, normally I have no big problems with this kind of settings. We are quite on ultra settings here with DLSS on quality and we are seeing, seeing on the left side that we have about 10 FPS, um, it's stuttering. Um, it's, it's bad performance we are seeing here. You also see that our uh, GPU and our CPU has no problems with the graphic. We are about under 40% on the GPU and under 20% on the CPU. Our RAM is very high, so Four. it should be that we have a problem with our RAM on our computer because we are with 24 gigabits and I have 32 RAM in my PC. So at this point I thought that the bottleneck here is our RAM because our CPU and GPU has no problems with this graphic. I want to show you something. I tried something out and what we did here is we set our PC to ultra performance. So everything on performance we we put everything on low, we put DLSS on performance mode and all other settings we put on low. After that, I put every settings of the traffic and the airport vehicle density and workers on maximum. What then happens, that surprised me a lot because if you can see in the next video, this happens. Our GPU and our CPU has nothing to do because we are under 20% and our CPU is at about 10 to 15%. Uh, our RAM is, the, is no problem too because we are under 20 gigabytes now and our um, GPU RAM is about 7.4. But we have no more FPS. We are about 10, 12, 13 FPS, it's stuttering and yeah, we have no benefit as you can see here. So what we can learn about this is our flight simulator has no problems with the graphics. Five. It's not, not a problem of the GPU or the CPU or our graphic settings at all. Four. Our problems are the objects on the ground and especially if they are moving. So what can we do now? Now we know the problem of FPS and stuttering is not our GPU or CPU, so all the, our graphic setting has nothing to do, really nothing to do, with low FPS and stuttering. Of course I don't want to fly without any traffic, but what can we change here? I figured out that the problem is at the normal scenery objects of the Microsoft Flight Simulator. So if you if you 
play with a lot of the random aircrafts of the Microsoft Flight Simulator and the traffic on the ground, then you get big problems. But what can we do now? We reduce the maximum of the rendered vehicles on the ground and the workers and we put back our graphics to our ultra settings. Here you see my settings, it's quite everything on ultra um, without bloom, depth of field, motion blur because I don't like this. And we try it again and look what happened now. What we do too is to change to FSLTL traffic. That's an add-on which is um, included by the fly-by-wire simulator, or A320 simulator, and try it with this add-on for air traffic, which is much better than the original from uh, Microsoft, because it depends on yeah, real traffic from flight radar, for example. The second benefit, of course, is that we have real liveries on the planes, like they are in real. So if there is flying a KLM, then you have a livery of a KLM. And um, yeah, we have also parked vehicles on the ground. So we have quite the same amount of traffic, but with original liveries. So it's much better than the original um, aircraft types of Microsoft Flight Simulator. And again, we are on a approach on London Heathrow uh, with real air traffic, with real liveries, with graphic settings on high or ultra. Here we have a little frame drop, but that's because I'm touching something and of course in the review too that could happen, but we are flying with about 30 FPS. Yeah, no stuttering. It's, of course we are not not getting 100 FPS, but 500. our RAM is at yeah 25 gigabit. Um, our GPU is about 40, 45, 43 percent. Our CPU has no problems with this, but we are flying with much more FPS than before. Of course, this is ultra. If we go a little bit lower, that we can go lower on our RAM, um, we can get. 10 FPS more or we can reduce the amount of traffic on the ground much more but this shows that the problem is not our GPU settings or our CPU yeah the problem in the Microsoft Flight Simulator is the traffic on the ground also the fly-by-wire Airbus drops our FPS at about 10 to 15 FPS so that we must be aware but if you see here we have traffic on the ground we have rolling traffic so not only um, airplanes which are standing on the gate we have also departing airports and so on and so on and with the add-on of GSX um, we have very detailed scenery objects um, on the on the ground which I will show you in the drone now so this is not an empty airport. It's quite busy. We have a few planes here. We have departing planes um, and arriving planes, as you see in the back, or here you see an airplane which is um, which is traveling to the to the uh, runway. We have many ground vehicles. Of course, some ground vehicles are spawned from the airport. Um, but everything else you see on the ground is from the GSX add-on. So it's quite impressive. It looks very detailed and um, very realistic. Yeah, that's the point. I tried many things on the graphic settings uh, before and waste a lot of time to get this result and um, to figure this out. Yeah, I hope you enjoy this and um, now you know where the problems in the Microsoft Flight Simulators are. It's not your graphics, normally not, of course. If you have a, a graphic card, um, an old graphic card, it 
could make some trouble and you can get low FPS. But yeah, I can prefer you to look what the problem is on your flight simulator. Is it the graphic card or is it something else? Um, at the first step, it will be the traffic on the ground. And um, just try it. Try GSX Pro. It costs a little bit of money, but it's it's quite worth it. Um, and uh, take out the normal traffic of the flight simulator and replace it with a FSLTL from the fly-by-wire Airbus. And try this first be before you get into your graphic settings. At the end of the video, I want to let you know that, yeah, it would be nice if you give me a like um, and of course if you <laughs> give me an abo on this new channel um, because it all starts at the beginning here for me in, in English and that would help me really 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 a lot. I decided to make two channels um, to separate my German channel from the English channel and in the future you will see much more videos from me here especially on the Microsoft Flight Simulator and on Star Citizen yeah and I'll let you enjoy this flight with ultra graphic settings scattered clouds as preset with a fly-by-wire Airbus, uh, Airbus, yeah. Airbus and uh, yeah I hope my English is good enough for you yeah take care stay healthy and always happy landings. See you. Keep speed not above 220 knots. Expect ILS runway 27 right approach via Echo Papa Mike transition. Clear to Echo Papa Mike Lufthansa to AJA320. One thousand. Five hundred. Four hundred. Three hundred. Two hundred. Hundred above. 
100. Minimum 50, 40, 30, 20. Retard. 10, 5, 